what's up guys welcome back to another house hunting video currently house hunting right now i've actually been to like two three houses right now and so far so good yeah and today's edition is a bit special because some of you my subscribers wanted me to get them some houses so one wanted a bed sitter another one wanted a one bedroom and someone wanted a three bedroom so yeah today's edition is a little bit special and i hope you guys will stay tuned enjoy this vlog subscribe if you haven't we are almost to 500 subscribers so support your girl and let's keep growing see you So when you enter the first thing on the right is the kitchen and see all those down cabinets guys and on that side we also have more up cabinets let's also look at the spacing it's quite long yeah it's quite big it's not a small uh, kitchen and it also has a kitchen counter as you guys can see there's some space there when you can do your your you know your own things there's also an up cabinet on this side and i love how this window is on this side and it brings so much lighting into this kitchen and you can also see that there are some tiles on this side of the wall and excuse the house someone just moved out so it's a bit messy right now so after the kitchen you'll find a door that leads you to the sitting room and some things that i'm focusing on is the spacing and that's what i am going to show you right now the sitting room is quite big it's really big can you guys see that it's really big and the sitting room has only one window on that side but at least it's bringing in a little so much light actually it's not a little bit the living room has a double socket on that side and on on the left side it also has a socket and a wi-fi connection let me show you guys the um the balcony when you open this door that's when you meet the balcony and i actually love the tiles of the balcony they look so cute and i think they fit for a balcony setup so this is where you actually hang your clothes and you i think you can do your laundry here you know and it's only it's quite big actually you can see the hanging uh roads are here so you can just put your hanging lines there and you just hang your clothes so this is the toilet it's just a basic toilet there's nothing so much to say about the toilet and the toilet is separated from the shower that is quite a nice thing about this house it's not in the same place so yeah it's such a, a nice thing and also another thing i love is that the sink is not in the toilet you know most most toilets the sinks are inside but this one is on the outside so let me take you guys to our first bedroom let's first look at the spacing you guys will be the judge for me i think it's big i think it's good enough it also has a double socket guys as i said someone just moved out from the house like recently that is why the house it looks very very messy also this bedroom has only one window on this side
and another thing i love about this house is how big the wardrobes are remember this house is going for 23,000 kenyan shilling that is about 230 dollars the water for this house is actually free the caretaker told me they use borehole water and sometimes they use the the, the, the city council water let's check out the second bedroom this is how it looks like this bedroom has more light than the other bedroom maybe that's because the this bedroom is on the corner where there is no other apartment you know so there is more lighting it also has only one double socket the walls of this house are cream and a little bit of blue so if you want to move into this house they are going to repaint it for you and mend the broken cabinets this is the wardrobe for the second bedroom it's also huge and i love that i actually love that so yeah that's it for this house let me show you guys the parking area it's actually quite big it's quite big the the house that is vacant is i think on the fourth floor and yeah that's it for this house let's head to our next one this is a one bedroom house let's first look at the spacing this is the sitting room and i feel like it's big enough for a living room there's this huge window here that's actually bringing enough light to this living room the top part is white and blue i actually love this design that they have put up there and the walls are like uh, sky blue if i'm not wrong this is the bedroom the tailing of this house is like brown or something but they don't look that bad actually the bedroom is not that big but it can fit your bed and your small stuff and it also has this window here that is bringing quite amount of light in this room something i love is how huge this wardrobe is guys you'll never find a one bedroom house that has such a huge wardrobe you guys this house goes for 17,000 kenyan shillings that is about 170 dollars look that that cabinet so a washroom is just basic but the toilet and the shower are in the same place so the shower is not separated from the washroom and also i forgot to film the sink part but the sink and the mirror is outside the toilet this is the kitchen space it has some cabinets at the sink place there's a door there and a window there and also some cabinets on the top there yeah i feel like that that can be enough storage especially if maybe you don't have kids that can be enough storage for you and it also has that one socket that you have seen there from the kitchen from the kitchen door you go to the balcony and i might say that this outside balcony is so huge so i didn't meet the caretaker so i don't know if they will repaint it but i think they can do something about it look at how big this balcony is you guys <laughs> 